So this will be a freeze test between the brand making new iPhone 11 Pro Max. As you can see in its gold colorway, check out that triple camera array though. To be honest, I don't really know how I feel about that from a aesthetic standpoint. I mean, just have a look for yourself. Put that to the side or put that back inside the container. So iPhone 11 Pro Max versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So you can see right here in its Aura Glow colorway. Take a moment to just look at this color. Super reflective, super fancy. Check out that color shift, that rainbow. Iridescent, the unicorn. This color is bad AF. And I mean the good bad. IMO. Love this colorway. Whoops. So you can see Note 10 Plus in all of its glory. And then iPhone 11 Pro Max, notch and all. All right, so this is, you know, just gonna be a simple test. I'm just a little bit curious to see how these two phones can handle cold temperatures. Both phones are IP68 water and dust resistant. So I have a feeling they're gonna do well in this test, but you never know, we'll see. We will see. All right, so my liquid of choice. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> that was funny. All right, liquid of choice is this sparkling spring water, natural lemon flavor by Crystal Geyser. Not sponsored, but that is my liquid of choice, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. If I can do it in one hand, oh boy, can I? All right, this might be a little bit impossible. All right. Whoa, check this out. Wants to come out already. Hold your horses. Yeah, whoa. All right, let me, um, may have to like, be a little quick here. Little bubbles coming up. They want action already. Look at that. They want action already. All right. Whoops. All right, there we go. Both are on as you can see. And then um, let's just go. Should be good enough just to cover the phone. All right, a little bit, a little bit more here on the iPhone, as you can see. And there you have it. Okay, now let's take the camera angle this way, and then. Um, my bad, man, I got a little bit of a cold, so kind of bear with me. So I'm looking at this right now, and I think the, um, the note just needs a little bit more. Let's go up to that line right there. So I'm just gonna go a little bit more. For fairness. And we're good. So that's what I wanna do, just enough to cover the phones. All right. And then, oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? This is hella funny. The Note 10 is going nuts. And then the iPhone is just pretty much just chilling here. But look at the Note though, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> That's hella funny, man. All right, that's enough of that. Go ahead and Go ahead and just clear it. Clear, clear, and then in you go. All right, and then the iPhone. Oh man, that stuff smells really good. This sparkling water, lemon, smells really good. Nice. All right, cool. 
All right, so there you have it. Oh, one more thing before I forget. I knew I was gonna forget something. Um, take a look at the battery percentage, 71%. So take a note of that, all right? And then on the uh, iPhone, so you can see, and then take a look at that right there. Almost full, okay? Cool, man, this stuff smells hella good. Ah, my bad, man, I got a little bit of a cold. All right, so. Put the lid on. Very nice. All right, now we'll go ahead and go to the ice box by LG. Should I get the LG V50? Let me know. And then, there you go. Got the little space right there already prepped. And I'm gonna go ahead and take one and then stick it in. So you can see. All right, make sure it's in the middle. All right, that's good enough. Okay, and I'm gonna take this one. And then put it right there. As you can see. Should be very interesting. Go ahead and close the ice box. And then I'm gonna go grab my, um, hold on a second. Grab my 3A, so you can see. And then this is the stopwatch. On a side note, Pixel 3A for 300 bucks or 350 bucks, I'm really impressed with this phone. You essentially get the same camera from the Pixel 3. And then the screen is not the best, but it's a server serviceable, if I can say that right, screen. It's an AMOLED display, so it looks pretty good. Not Samsung level or anything, or even OnePlus, but it's a pretty good display. Fingerprint scanner, your capacitive one in the back, works every time. But this phone, I'm really impressed with this phone. Took this when I went on vacation earlier this year on um, Google Fi. For 300 bucks or 350, you get a lot of phone for that money. And you essentially get the same camera on the Pixel 3. It's a very good device. Anyway, so this is my 3A. If I can get this phone to like, there you go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start the stopwatch. All right, so I'm gonna leave the phones in the ice box overnight. I don't know, 12 hours or so. And I'll see you in the morning. See you in a little bit. So it's the following day and it's, um, it's been about 17 hours or so, as you can see. Now I wanted to go 12 hours, but you know, I let this run a little bit long it's all right, it's the following day, actually the following afternoon, the sun is out, etc. So anyway, 17 hours later, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, 3A to the side, and then, um, yeah, let's just uh, see what we're dealing with. Oh man, check that out. And then I'm gonna grab one. Wow, that's pretty loud, that's solid. And then, let's see. Gonna close the ice box. Thank you, LG. And this is this phone. Whatever phone that is. Ooh, that is loud against the, uh, the countertop right there. It's echoing the, the room, my goodness. So this one is the um, Note 10 Plus, as you can see. And then the 11 Pro. So let me just um, have a look. Check that out. Wow. Amazing. All right. So let me... Um, Open this up, get the hot water running already. There you go, so you can see. Very nice. All right, so I'm 
just gonna go ahead and take this and just put it in here. Give it a little bit of hot water. See the ice cracking a little bit. All right. that off and then take that off and ooh the hot water right into the camera lens look at that very nice and then the same thing on the note oh look at that look at that color on the note how the water hits it look at that oh man that is so look at that look at that, that is so sick right there the way that looks Amazing. All right. Get the ice to break up a little bit. There you can see, it's melting the ice. Here's the iPhone. A little bit of a shower, so you can see. And then, yeah, my bad, the hot water pressure here is not very good. So just gotta work with what I have right now. It's doing the job though, as you can see. All right. Just wanna get into these phones already. All right, I think we're good. the water out from the ports etc from the speakers all right then I'm gonna have a look let's take a look at the camera lens of the note looks pretty clear and then the front facing hole punch display camera looks pretty good all right now moment of truth I'm gonna turn this phone on and oh what the hell I forgot I thought the power button was like on the right <laughs> here's the power button I thought this was big speed that's right they combined the Bixby and power button. All right, anyway, um, so here it is. Will the Note 10 Plus turn on? Let's find out right meow. And let's go. Oh! Do that again. And seems to be working just fine. All right, now let's take a look at the battery percentage. It's at 59%. I don't recall what, what, what it was uh, before I froze. I think it was in the low 70s. So there you go, do the math. Not too bad. Okay, so the Note 10 Plus turns on. We'll put the Note to the side for now. Check out that color though, or glow. Look at that, look at that. Look at that color right there. I don't think the camera is doing it justice. In person, I'm looking at it right now. Ooh, that is a hot, look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, okay, here's the 11 Pro Max. Let me just go ahead and shake, shake off any excess water in the speaker ports. Lightning port, etc. All right, let's have a look at the camera. Lens, all three of them. Having a close look. Not seeing any condensation underneath the gloss. That's a good sign. And we'll take a look at the front facing camera in the notch and have a look for yourself. Not seeing any condensation under the glass as well in the front. All right. Okay, looks pretty good. Oh, it turned on. Very nice. And then let's do that again. Cool. Not bad surviving in the, pre in the freezer. 17 plus hours. Seems to be responsive. Nice. And then do the same thing to the note. Turned on, but let's check out the screen. And yeah, seems to be working. What is my cat doing? Hey, what are you doing? Anyway, so let's go ahead and test out the audio. Uh, let's see, where is my, um, if I can find it. Here we go. Let's 
go in here and then we're just going to do um let's see whoops typo af okay do this there we go and then we're going to go ahead and play this little speaker test whoops Max volume, as you can see. Gotta say, that sounds pretty good. So the speakers work. The screen seems to be responsive on the Note 10 Plus. Finally, let's just go ahead and test out the cameras real quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the iPhone. Make sure this isn't landscape. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this, starting with the wide first, so you can see. Take a shot of that. Take a shot of this, normal zoom. 2X optical zoom. Bang. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick video. All right, this is the video test of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus right after the freeze test. So let me know of the video quality as well as the audio recording from the speakers. All right, late. All right, stop that right there. I'm going to put that in the end of the video as well. But overall, Speakers work. We'll see about the video recording and the pictures, but I am impressed with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Passes the freeze test. Very nice. And check out that aura glow. Damn, I can't get enough of it. All right, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's go ahead and test the speakers. Screen seems to be working, so you can see. So I'll pass the display. Go ahead and go to YouTube right now. And I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is this? Okay, let me just do that. And then, what's all this? Don't care about any of that. Let's do a search. Oh, but check out, before I get started, check out the battery. I'm going to get in here, if you can see the battery right there. Now, I don't recall what the percentage was. I think it was actually pretty close to full before I froze the phone. But as you can see right there, that's less than half. I'd say that's about... Well, one third. So in the freezer, I'm gonna say that it lost a considerable amount of drain. Now, I don't know, maybe obviously the cold temperatures in the freezer, or maybe something was running in the background, I'm not sure, but take a note of that. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, do a search for that um, song that I always play in my background. And it's just one. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, not hearing any audio so far is the thing. No, it should be on. Okay, here it is. Jack up the volume. Okay, as you can see right there. Okay, it's right there, jacked up all the way. And I barely hear anything. Oh man. The speakers on the iPhone 11 Pro, not looking good. What is happening to this phone? Okay, let me, you know what, let me go ahead and just Give it a little bit more of a shake. Any excess water out of the ports, etc. I don't know, man. It should be good. Come on. All right, let's try that again. All right, phone's almost dry, actually. Okay, let's try that again. And then let's... And what is this? Don't allow. Play. Marginally better, as you can see, volumes all the way up. Can't go any higher, and I can barely hear anything. A little, little bit better than 
a minute ago, but yeah. So pass or fail, well, you guys are the judges. But compared to the Note 10 Plus, Note 10 Plus is pretty much back to 100% volume. This one, not so much, although it's coming back. Uh-oh, iPhone 11. Oh, oh, it's coming back. What? It's getting louder. Oh! On, on video too. What? Uh-oh, oh, oh, it's going away. It's coming back. All right, let me, let me help a little bit. Let me help this a little bit. Oh, this is exciting. What? I thought it was, I was just gonna fail it too, but it's coming back. He's like, the phone's like, nah, nah, F that. Nah, I'm coming back. I'm not just gonna let the Note 10 Plus win. Nah, nah. I'm coming back with a vengeance. All right, let's play. Oh! Well, I gotta say, the phone came back. I was 99% gonna fail it, but as you saw a minute ago, on video nonetheless, the speaker came back. So I was gonna fail it, but I'm gonna give a pass to the speaker performance of the iPhone 11 Pro Max on this test. Very nice. Job well done, iPhone. Props. All right, so the next step I wanna see is the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the camera here. Um, what is this? Don't allow. Don't allow anything. All right, cool. So here is the, uh, what is this? Too many prompts, man. All right, here we go. So here's the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and the half zoom. Take a picture of the Note 10 Plus. Take a picture of that. And let's see, 1X, take a shot. 2x optical zoom. I'm gonna take a shot of that. So let me know in the comments below the picture quality. I'll put this in the video as well. And then I'm gonna go to video right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. This is the video test of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, testing the video performance and the audio recording performance right after being frozen in the freezer for about like 17 plus hours. So let me know of the quality in the comments down below. All right, late. There you go, I'll put that in the video as well. Let me know of the quality. Boom. So this is just a quick little freeze test between the iPhone 11 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I gotta say, both phones passed with essentially, I'm gonna say flying colors. Now we don't know the video quality and the audio quality yet. I'm not gonna know until I watch the video. So I'm gonna put those at the end of this, at this video. You guys let me know in the comments. But as of right now, these two did a pretty good job. So next time you're out and about, let's say you are in a cold environment, you leave your phone out in the snow, etc., overnight or something like that, rest assured that the likelihood of your phone surviving severe conditions like that should actually be pretty good. So IP68 water, Rating getting put into good use. All right, let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Cindy, hey, you wanna play? Go get it.